Now to a controversial topic that very much divides opinion tax. If you work in certain jobs, such as one where you have to wear a uniform or where you're forking out for something else on which your career depends, you could be paying more than you need. And if that's the case, well, that means you're entitled to get some of it back. Now, of course, not everyone finds that an easy process, which is why a whole industry of middlemen has popped up, supposedly, to make things simpler. But you've been telling us that there's a lot more to these middlemen than meets the eye. Even in the best cases we've heard, you could be waving goodbye to quite a big slice of your payout. And as for the worst cases, well, one former soldier who was planning to put his tax rebate towards his wedding instead found that getting that rebate has ended up costing him money. They may seem a one-way street, but every year the government pays billions of pounds back in taxes. And if you need to spend your own money on something you only use for work, such as a uniform, then you too may be able to claim back some of the tax on the amount that you paid. Money! A whole industry has grown up around companies offering to help Thousands of working people claim their tax relief on things like tools, uniforms, travelling expenses. And in an average year, they can reclaim around £800 million. These companies are often known as tax rebate agents, and they claim to make the whole process of reclaiming your tax easier. For a fee, of course. Former soldier Dominic Harbison from Tyneside used a company called Utax to claim back the money he believed he was entitled to. It's a decision that has cost him dearly. A lot of my friends in the army went through tax rebate companies, obviously travel expenses, you've got your toiletries, you've got kit that you buy. So I heard from them that you could claim back on that kit. Dominic was thrilled when Utax told him he was due a windfall of more than £3,000. With his wedding to fiance Laura on the horizon, the timing was perfect. If I'm honest, I felt really overwhelmed, you know, it was, it's a lot of money. And to receive that money out of the blue, is, it was, I, was, I was quite chuffed about it, yeah. But things didn't work out the way he'd hoped. Though HMRC did issue a cheque to Utax, Dominic never saw a penny of it. It turned out that his case was one of several that HMRC had asked Utax to re-examine and support with further evidence. Once the investigation was complete, the tax office could see that the details it had been given had caused it to overpay Dominic, and it wanted the money back. But when Utax returned the cash, it did so minus its various fees, charges and VAT, leaving Dominic to foot the rest of the bill. I felt like I'd been cheated, you know, I felt like the just took the money from us. Utax had kept back around two-thirds of the total amount, so HMRC told Dominic he needed to pay back around £2,300 of the money that he'd never even had sight of. I explained to them I didn't have the money. I explained I've never seen the money. I explained I can't get in contact with uh, Utax. They basically told us we want the money back, and that's the end of it. Dominic and Laura were devastated. No amount of appeals to HMRC made any difference. And after a few months, debt collection letters started to arrive. It was awful. We're a young couple. We don't want to be in debt. We want to enjoy our future together, not worrying about people coming knocking at your door or the bailiffs. Dom's just scared in case we lose our home. It's just not nice. Unable to see a way out, Dominic agreed to pay back HMRC in monthly instalments. But it's stretching his salary to the limit. And what he'd hoped would be a windfall he could treat his family with has ended up being a debt that's having an impact on his finances, his credit rating and his family life. I would never use a tax rebate company again. I feel like, well, I am paying for it twice and it is, it's really, it's stressful, it's upsetting. 
Well, plenty more of you have been in touch after similar problems with other tax refund companies, from nurses claiming for their uniforms that they wash at home to construction staff looking to get back money spent on tools and protective clothing. And many others do tax back after using their own car for work. Even those that have received a refund soon discovered it was a lot less than they were expecting. I got a letter from the tax office saying, yes, you're owed £1,800, but it came via the tax rebate company, who, in their wisdom, took uh, a little commission of 40%, plus they charged me VAT, which meant that they halved my rebate. Some of the people we spoke to hadn't initially realised they'd applied for their money through a third party. When I Googled it, it was out at the top of the page. And it looked very much like a government site. I didn't know they was an agency. I thought I was going through to the uh, proper Inland Revenue. If I'd have gone through the proper channel and gone to the right company, I'd have got all my money back. And while technically these companies aren't doing anything wrong, Critics like Meredith McCammond of the Low Income Tax Reform Group say there's no doubt some of them don't always operate fairly. Meredith, some of these companies might well say that they're offering a service to those people who otherwise may not have even thought of applying for a tax rebate. So what's the problem? Often what they'll do is they'll charge a percentage of the refund that they secure back for the person as their fee. Uh, we've seen um, percentages ranging from 8% to about 40%. Um, and in addition to that, there's often a minimum kind of admin fee which they charge, which um, in cases of very small refunds can actually kind of really diminish the value of the refund that comes back to them. And probably wipe it out altogether in some in cases. In some cases, we have seen that happening, yeah. Charging fees on legitimate claims is one thing. But Meredith has also seen evidence of companies putting in claims that just don't stand up, charging upfront fees even if they know that ultimately HMRC will later say that the claim isn't valid. HMRC will often process the claim first and then check it later. So um, in those situations, the tax refund agency put in a fraudulent claim. It's very likely that HMRC would pay out the claim um, and then you know, potentially chase the taxpayer some years later down the line. So you could end up owing money to HMRC even though you thought you'd had a rebate? Well, exactly. And in addition, you, you're kind of out of pocket because you've paid the tax refund agent in the first place to organise the kind of fraudulent claim for you. Now, Dominic's situation is slightly different because UTAX was operating within the rules. But the end result is still essentially the same and he is stuck paying back money that he never received. The company he used, Utax, is no longer trading, but its legal team disagreed with Dominic's version of events, saying it had used the figures that he'd provided to calculate how much he was due. And it blamed him for not being able to supply the necessary evidence to substantiate parts of his claim. Meanwhile, though HMRC expressed sympathy for Dominic, it made clear that it's him that is legally liable, as he provided the details used by UTAX to make the claim, and taxpayers are responsible for the information provided to HMRC. What's more, as Dominic had signed a legal undertaking appointing UTAX as his agent, HMRC had no choice but to make the payment to that company and not to him. However, it went on to say that if he needs more time to pay the debt, it would be happy to see what it could do to help. Of course, all of this could have been avoided if Dominic had not used a rebate agent at all. So I'm on my way to meet Claire Merrills from HMRC to find out why it believes anyone eligible for a rebate should avoid using a middleman and should file the claim free of charge themselves. Claire, just how big is the industry that's involved in setting up these claims companies? It is quite large and it's getting, it's getting bigger. The companies are unregulated. Most of them aren't chartered accountants or, or registered with any sort of governing body, so there's nobody that actually oversees the work that they do, mm. which means that they can just grow and continue to be unregulated. Unregulated? I unregulated. think that's going to come as a real shock to a lot of mm. people. It does to me. Not only is HMRC powerless to regulate the industry, but once you authorise a rebate agent to act on your behalf, as Dominic found to his cost, you are no longer able to deal directly with HMRC yourself. 
they're signing away their rights. They're giving the rights to these companies to actually claim the tax that's due on their behalf. We then have to follow that legal agreement that they've made between them and repay anything that's due to that company. Would you really much prefer that people don't use these companies at all? The information that you give to the company is exactly the same information that you would have to give to us if you're filling in one of our forms. Personally, I think you should be doing it yourself. HMRC has recently launched a completely redesigned, simplified claims process through its own website. And if you visit our site at bbc.co.uk slash ripoffbritain, you'll see Claire showing me how it all works. Of course, that's of little comfort to Dominic, who is still struggling to pay back a tax rebate he never received in the first place. This debt is going to go on until 2020. I've just got that hanging over my head. 